ребята, I realize that Russia is cyberpunk king life. We have Wi-Fi all over our underground networks, and we can go to hyperspace right from there. And more importantly, one thing we have that America apparently doesn't have is hot water. Say what? Hot water coming out of the tap that doesn't end after your whole family took a shower, doesn't disappear mysteriously uh, during your wash, like in America for some reason. Unless government just shuts down whole water, like both cold and hot for a couple of months and a hot summer because they're fixing some ancient pipes, that's when cyber really becomes punk. So let's learn another random letter of Russian alphabet, letter D, D. To better learn it, you need to know that house is dom in Russian. It sounds like do. And the next thing you need is to think about house on chicken legs. This is definitely the easiest way to learn it. So you've learned the letter D. And the next thing you know, you can surprise your grandpa by calling him Did in Russian. Unless your dad is dead, well, then at least you got a nice mnemonic rule out of it. Billy Dom, старый дед. Actually, Dead is one of Putin's nicknames in Russia. Maybe because we're all one big family and he sits at the head of the table, or maybe, just maybe, because he doesn't use internet completely. He says internet is full of misinformation. Honestly, he does sound like my grandma. Wait, even my grandma has a Facebook page. How else would she send me pictures of her blooming succulents? By the way, did you see the recent video of Navalny about Putin's castle? I don't think it's all that luxurious. For one, I didn't see any carpets on the walls. On the 12th of April, we just celebrated the Day of Cosmonautics, Deni Cosmonautiki. It's devoted to celebrating little tiny cosmonauts. You know, because suffix ik makes everything sound smaller in Russian. And I've got only one thing to say about it. Yura, we fucked up. Russia has its own Google called Yandex, and Yandex has its own voice assistant called Alice. Alice always got your back, unlike Google, who'd always read you out to authorities or world government or whatever. Alice will warn you the minute before KGB knocks on your door, so you can hide all your smuggled parmesan and wine and pretend you're drinking vodka and herring as usual. The most common case of household accidents in USA apparently is during lawn mowing and ladder climbing to fix your house and you know, trim the trees. In Russia, we don't have lawns to mow and townhouses to fix but the death rate is still higher. I wanna say that Russians die of chainsaw accidents, that'd be punk ass, but the real reason I'm just gonna say that Russians like to play with fire. But seriously, our strength is internet and communications. Almost 100% of Russia has good coverage with high-speed internet, but also most of the Russia is rural. So the most common morning in the Russia might be just like milk your cows, check your Instagram feed, chase your neighbor's goat out of your garden, make a TikTok challenge out of it, and right there, in the middle of the field, scrolling your Instagram, looking at rich Hollywood lives, you realize what the Russian flag actually stands for. It's white for the snow, blue for the sky, and red for the blood of our enemies! You wanted comedy, so who's laughing now?